Right, let's start again then for the third time. Okay, yeah, okay, right. Premier League kits. It's like a video every YouTuber is doing and every football YouTuber is doing. So why not I join in the action? Because um, I've not uploaded. I, I, <laughs> this is why I've not uploaded for one month. I haven't uploaded for one month, so um, I might as well do something in this terms because I've got nothing else to do. So we're going to be ranking all the Premier League home kits. It's going to be a chill video and I'm going to be sitting back on a chair and literally, literally giving my opinion for every single kit there is. So starting off with no actual words. God bless. Now, moving on. Right, okay, that's one down, 19 more to go. We're going to go over, let's go with Manchester City, the Premier League champions. For me, I think it's two play. Now, Adidas, oh, Adidas, it's not, it's not even Adidas. Bear with me, please. I, I, I haven't uploaded for one month and there's a reason for that. Manchester City, their, their sponsor is uh, Puma, Etihad. I can't do it, I can't do it. Career's down the bend, it's just down, it's, it's, it's in the shitter. Right, let's start again. Manchester City, Puma. Man City badge, I think it's very plain. I think, um, I just think it's a plain kit. I think it's pretty much identical to last year's, pretty much. I think the sky blue is just too, it's just too blue in general, and I think it's just not a nice one to look at, in my opinion. So for me, I'm going to go with a boring kit. I just, I don't think there's any much more explanation than saying it's like a boring kit with not much more to it than obviously a sky blue kit with a badge, a sponsor and obviously the kit maker etc. The team which is like 45 minutes away from me, some would say they should be my local team, well they're not. Norwich City, now for me I think it's a great kit and I'm going to say that's going to be one where people will disagree with me with that one with but I think the contrast between the green and the yellow Going with um, the kind of design going up and obviously fading out to be into, into that yellow. I think that's really nice looking. And I think they've done well this year in Norwich City. And I think it's they, they obviously did have a good kit last year in the Championship. I think this one for me. With me liking my colours, I think this one's a very good one. Now I've got a bit of a debate with Watford. We're going to go with Watford next, as you can see. I think it's a shit kit in my opinion. Now for me, this is the reason. And half and half pizza. You have half margarita, half pepperoni. Maybe that's what you choose. I don't know. You can have a meat feast if you want, if you feel lucky. But for this one... You got half yellow, you got half black, and then you got a quarter bloody um, yellow again. Now, if you was a half and half pizza, you wouldn't have margarita, pepperoni, and a quarter of that pepperoni just being with pepperoni and ham. You can't ask for that, can you? I mean, if you want to be a pain in the ass, maybe you can. But for this instance, yellow and black, not a big fan. And with the yellow go with the black on that side too, if you want to make it a half and half kit, at least make that kind of sleeve patch black. Wolverhampton Wanderers, I think that is a great kit in my opinion. I think the one which is lacking for me not putting it as a perfect kit is the black strip down the bottom of the side and I just, I'm not a big fan of that one but I think it's a great kit in the terms of how it looks. I like the colour orange and I like the kind of yellow detailed bits in the middle. Um, obviously sponsored by Adidas and the Adidas kits this season have absolutely smashed it as you'll see in this video but I think Wolves have done a great job this season. Burnley, let's go over a bad kit for this one. I'm, I'm, I have, I've I've already done this video so I'm just saying I'm doing this quite quickly actually. Um, I think, I think personally Burnley's kit is bad, and that's because of the kind of, it's kind of the, the gambling sponsor in the middle. If it's a gambling sponsor, it's just some Chinese writing or Japanese writing in the middle. So for me, I don't really, I'm not a big fan of it. The claret and blue, I'm not, I'm just not a big fan of it in general. And it just obviously reminds me of purple, which is obviously like baddest, so don't really like it. So for my, my opinion, I think it's a bad kit. As much as it does look clean with the, the sleeve patches and that, I don't like the I don't like the sponsor of, of the gambling people or whatever or whatever it is. Don't like the Chinese writing on it, let's put it that way. Let's get a perfect kit on the board. This is one everyone's been going and recently and I have to only agree. I think it's a really clean kit. I think Leicester have done an absolutely wonder, wonderful job this season and I think Leicester City with them having an Adidas sponsor this year. I think that was last season for the Good, good few seasons now. I think it's a great kit in my opinion. And King Power sponsor in the middle. It really does go well with the blue in the middle and the badge and obviously the gold uh, Adidas. I think it's a really great, great kit in my opinion. And I think it's really fresh and clean. Let's go with Brian of Albion. Right, great kit. Now, a lot of you are going to do this with it. So this is why I'm going to be adding a bit of comparison to it. I don't have last year's home kit. However, um, I have the season before that, which is being compared to this season's one. Now, you can see the difference for a start. Now, where's the black detail in it? Where's the actual detail in this in general? There isn't, apart from the sleeves. This one, they've got detail in the sleeves and they've got detail in the actual stripes. Now, they've got the black detail, which I really, 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 really like. And I would say it's a perfect kit, but I think that'd be too biased in my opinion. Now, um, gold tick in the middle, that's the same as this one. Okay, fair play. And I think on the back, it's got a gold, or it has got a gold. Uh, gold thing on the, on, the, on the back here, not sure what it's called, but the collar, that's, that's what it's called. But I think it's a good kit, I think it's a great kit, I think it's a clean kit, and I think it's more detailed kit than people actually think. 
and um, I think it's a good kit in my opinion. There's so much you can do with strike kits, but I think Brighton this year have done a good job comparing this kit and other kits we've had in the past. Newcastle United, it's a shit kit in my opinion. A lot of people like the re retro design to it, but what what is that? What, what, what is it? Now why have you got three fat strips, white, black, white, and obviously you got okay, you got the, you got the black sleeves. Okay, that's fine. I like the colour. That's the only thing I'm gonna like in this one. What? Well, why is there Puma and Newcastle badge? In the middle. What, why? I don't even know. So, uh, for that one, and I don't like, obviously, the, the, the what writing in that one, so I'd actually rate that really fucking shit. But you know what? There's only shit in this option, so bear with me. Tottenham, I'm going to go with a Bourne kit as well as Manchester City. I think, you, literally, yeah, this is what this, this is what reminds me of um, Tottenham's kit. Go to Asda and go to the George section where you can buy your own stuff. You can get a plain white t-shirt. Literally, get a few pens, which are worth one pound, and literally... Draw on the draw on the Tottenham logo, put the AIA with a red pen in the middle, and then put the Nike tip with another colour colour on, on, on the t-shirt. I mean that's your kit sorted. Literally just colour in the collar, colour in the sleeves, and then you've got yourself a kit made by a five-year-old. Everton, I think that's a great, I think that's a perfect kit. I'm not sure what it is with uh, blue kits, but I think this one this year, apart from the Angry Bird sponsor on uh, on the side on the sleeves, I think that's a great kit, and I think the white, obviously going into the blue is very, very good. And obviously I like my blue and white kits, and I think that's a really nice kit personally. Chelsea, I think I'm gonna give this a good kit. I think it's a it's a good kit. I do like the red in the middle of the collar, and I do like I do kind of like like the, the kind of pattern across the whole shirt. I, it looks like someone's thrown up on it and then it's just contrasted into the shirt. But um, we'll, we'll, we'll ignore that one and say it's it's a, it's, it's a kit by night. But um, Chelsea, uh, I think they've done a good job with this one to be honest. I think it's all right. It's a good one. It's not great. It's not perfect, but I'll say it's good. Liverpool, I think that's a perfect kit. Um, I think the red and with the really, really thin white lines, I think it really does make out for the kit. And I really do like it. And I think it really does go well. The gold on the new balance and obviously the Liverpool uh, of, of the badge, I think it really does go well with the kit. And I think it's a really perfect kit in my opinion, which I really do like. Bournemouth, I'm going to say that's uh, yeah, it's a, it's a good kit. I think, this, as I said before, there's so much you can do with strong kits okay, so and we've red and black in this one there's not much more you can do now um, I don't like the sponsor in the middle hence why I'm putting this a good kit I do like how, how it all kind of fits in as a clean fresh kit but um, personally I think it's good and it can't go any higher than that Southampton you've got to put in the shit category <laughs> what is that this one reminds me of Photoshop where you can literally just colour in sections put pressing the paint or when in certain colours and I think that's what I've done for this one I just hope for the best so for me Southampton a shit kit like what is that black doing in the top the colour I just don't like it the fat strips I don't like at all it's just not good is it it's just not good Adidas for Arsenal when I put this you may ask now my brother's an Arsenal fan he hasn't got a kit yet um and I've actually been to a lot of Adidas stores in London already and I've just been seeing this kit around so for me I'm gonna say it's a perfect kit I think it's a really clean kit a fly Emirates in the middle Adidas Arsenal Adidas have done a perfect job this year and I think that's why I'm putting it in the perfect category I think it's a perfect clean kit in my opinion Aston Villa Claren Blue W in the middle not a big fan of if it just had W A A maybe it'd look a bit better but for me I'm gonna put that as a I'm gonna put it as a good kit um it's all right it's not the best it's not the worst that's why I'm putting it as a good one um, preferred last season is one for them, but I mean, it'll do, won't it? Man United, I'm gonna say it's a bad kit. Why is there a black badge? And why is there a black badge? Well, pl tell me. Right, wait, wait, who's it? Who's it sponsored? Is it? Is it only that? I don't even know. Let's have a look. I had to look up Sheffield United. So I, I don't know what it was. Uh, Man United home kit. It's, it is only that. Jesus, I'm not sure of this one. I don't know what the black badge is all about, but it's a bit plain. It's a bit plain, black badge, it's no, not a fan, not a fan, let's move on, I can't, I can't stand it. Now moving on to Sheffield United, now this one for me, it's uh, it's 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 a boring kit. Uh, you can't do much of strike kits, it's not, you can't give much of an opinion unless you do something wacky with it, which no one really has, including Brian himself. And um, it, it's alright, it's sponsored by Andy Lass and I think it's clean, yeah. But the sponsor in the middle just ruins it all for me, There's any, 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 anyone like that just, just ruins it for me. I don't know what it is, I just can't stand it. So that's why I'm just going to be moving this, just moving this straight on. West Ham United, moving on to the final kit. We're going to put that in the boring category. Now, you got the bottom bit with Betway on the white. I do, that's that, like, literally, yeah, it just, it just looks, it actually looks horrible. If you think about it, it like, some people think it's a good kit, but for me, I just don't like it. I don't like the stripes with the badge and, the, and obviously the sponsor with it too, but the Betway in the middle of the, on, the, on the claret, it's just not good. I don't like it, I don't think it's clean enough. I, I'm actually happy with this one this time round, and I think this is how I'm going to stick with, I'm not going to change, and I think that's how my 
category of list of the kits is actually going to stick with this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you drop a like. Tell me what you would change in this category because for me, I like my colours and I like my details and I like my designs and I like fresh, clean kits. And for me, I think I've done that with this one. Um, maybe a few more buys than others, but however, I think that's a clean, a clean list for my opinion. I think I, I do like it, to be honest. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like on this video. I think I'm going to be doing an Away Kits video very soon, so make sure you look out for that one. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in another video. Goodbye, guys.